Ira just launched its Build AI. That's spelled B U I L D. You get 10 free minutes every 30 minutes. You can use this completely free even if you are not a paid Ira explorer. But if you do join this program, you will be accepting that they are using your data and your information for training AI models. There's also a new verify feature for Access AI and you can change settings or default settings for how verbose Access AI is. Let's talk about it. Hi everyone, welcome to Carry On Accessibility where we talk about technology and accessibility. If you're interested in that type of content, hit the subscribe button. And if you would like to support my channel and my work, consider becoming a YouTube or Patreon member. Here I am on my Pixel phone. I have the Ira Explorer app open and I am going to go to the bottom right, which is the More tab and I have Talkback on as well. More tab for a four. I'm going to double tap there. More, more. And we're going to navigate to preferences. Photo gallery, profile, preferences. We're going to go in there. Preferences, back. Preferences, on agent view. Toggle off to hide your video feed on your own screen while remaining visible to agent. Oh, preferred language. And access AI. Set. Build AI offer. Here we go. Join and get free calls by sharing your IRA call recordings with our AI partners. Join. There's a join button right here, and I'm going to double tap there. Build AI offer. Back to preference page. Build AI offer. Get 10 free IRA minutes on calls by sharing your call recordings to help build a better AI. Enjoy free calls as often as every 30 minutes. It is important that future AI works well for the blind and low vision community. Sharing your recordings with our AI partners will help train AI to work for you alongside IRA's visual interpreters. FAQ. Terms of service. Agree to terms of service and join. I'm going to double tap there. Alert. You are in. Start making free calls now. The build AI offer is applied automatically as often as possible. The more you call, the better. Okay? It is important that future AI works well for the blind and low vision community. Sharing your recordings with our AI partners will help train AI to work for you alongside Iris visual interpreters. Build AI offer. Preferences. Join. There we go. We've joined. Now it says learn more. If you double tap there. Build AI offer. It is important that future AI... FAQ. Terms of serve. Lee. If you navigate all the way to the bottom of that page, there is a leave button and you can leave any time. So if I double tap on the leave. Alert. I want to take a break from Build AI offer. Are you sure you want to leave Build AI? By doing this, you will not have access to these free calls. Leave Build AI offer. Cancel. And I'm going to go ahead and double tap on cancel. Back to preference page. It's as easy as that. I'm going to go ahead and go to the home tab, which is on the bottom left. Home tab one of four. Home, home. Applied offer, build AI. Now it says the applied offer is build AI, and now you can call Ira for free with build AI. Call Ira for free. Now let's move over to access AI, and I actually really prefer access AI over be my AI. Uh, there's a dark mode, it's easier to see, and I just honestly think it's easier to use. So it's the second tab on the navigation row at the bottom. Access AI tab to a four. Access AI, access AI. So now from here, we can swipe to the right. Unlabel. Ooh. They need to label that info button. Here, most of the screen is taken up by the viewfinder. There's a camera, it's already active. And if we- capture and send. Go right here, quick capture and send. We can double tap and it will immediately send the picture to Access AI and start describing the picture for you. Loading. Access AI, unlabeled. Access AI chat, back. Access AI is typing. A close up of the mechanical keyboard with black keycaps illuminated by pink backlighting. The keys visible in the image include function keys F1 to F8, number keys 2 to 9, and letter keys Q to M. The keyboard is positioned in front of a monitor, and there is a purple object, possibly a cap or a small container, on the desk behind the keyboard. There is also a microphone with a visible R on it on the left side of the desk. Actions available. All right, there we go. We can copy. Copy. Mark is not helpful. Mark is not helpful. Mark is helpful. Mark is helpful. Quick reply, please tell me more. Or quick reply. Share. Or share. Activate. So for me, those are great 
uh, actions to have with talkback if you are not using talkback you can still long press pop up menu dismiss menu and you have all the same options here quick reply mark is help mark is not copy share so we're gonna go quick back reply. please tell me more accuracy low so here you can navigate, it's like a message conversation at the bottom. You can ask follow-up questions and you can also detail capture. do detailed capture. This will let you take another picture and ask a question with it. Choose from gallery. You can pick a picture from your gallery. And one cool thing about Access AI is you can add multiple pictures to send to the AI and you don't have to do it one at a time. You don't have to select the photo, send it, select the photo, send it. You can just add all the photos you want to attach and then send it all at once, even with a question, which is pretty cool. At the top right, we have transfer to IRA agent, transfer to IRA agent. So it'll connect you with an IRA agent right away. Request IRA verify. And you can also do a request IRA verify. So with this, you can double tap and it will send the conversation and the pictures to the IRA agent and they can verify it. So I guess we can just try that. I'll double tap. IRA verify requested. This does take Looking some time. Agent. It's going to look for an agent. IRA verify in progress. I feel kind of bad for the agent right now, but, um, yeah let's see what they say and i'm not going to edit this part hopefully it doesn't take too long and this is totally just filler content until it starts verifying i um, i think it's a pretty cool feature that i don't think be my ai has ira agent says access ai chat has been verified and is accurate actions available and your ira verify thing. request is complete tap to read the response it said that it was accurate. Sometimes they have more input. Sometimes they have less. Uh, I've only tried it a few times, but that is one thing that I have noticed. So that's pretty cool. Here you can absolutely still add more pictures or continue the conversation. If we go back, access AI. There are some quick capture and send. Other options. Detail capture. There's a detailed capture. You can take a picture and send a question at the same time. Choose from gallery. You can. Choose from gallery. Browse chat history. And you can browse chat history. So I'm gonna double tap there. Chat history, back. Chat history, pink backlit mechanical keyboard close up. Just now. More options, actions available. Description of various images, 23 minutes ago. More options, at clear plastic Starbucks cup, 25 minutes ago. So here is a history of access AI conversations that I've had. Pink backlit mechanical keyboard close up. More options, actions available. I'm gonna go to more actions. Pop up menu, dismiss menu, delete, rename. We can delete or rename this. I'm gonna go Check back history. now. Back. One more thing I wanna show is the settings for Access AI. More tab 404. We're going to go back to the more tab and preferences. More, preferences, preferences, back, preference on agent view, preferred language, A Access AI. Set access AI preferences such as verbosity and vocabulary. Let's go into this setting. Access AI preferences. Access AI preferences. Verbosity. Would you prefer AI responses to be shorter and straight to point or longer and more detailed? Selected default. Shorter with less details. Longer with more details. If you like it short, you can keep it short. If you like it long, you can make it tell you more details. Vocabulary. Would you prefer AI to use casual, everyday words or use a comprehensive vocabulary that might include technical terms? Select it default. Everyday language. Technical terms. So those are the different options under Access AI. So there you have it. That's Build AI and some of the new Access AI features. One more note about Build AI is if you do make calls with the Build AI, you are able to mark calls to not be used for training purposes in case there's private information or something like that. Ira did mention that in their blog talking about Build AI. Out of all the different AI apps out there that are geared for blind and low vision, I actually really like Access AI. A huge factor is honestly dark mode, yes, but even aside from that, I feel like it's more full-featured. It feels more complete, like it's just 
a nicer experience, honestly. I like that you can right away connect to an agent or have it verified. The verification is free. I love that there's a history. It automatically names it for you and you can delete or rename it. Not only can you refer to those previous conversations, but you can actually continue them. I love the different settings. I, I, I think they just did a great job. Just for clarification, this is not sponsored and they did not ask me to make this video. I just actually use it. If I do use something like Seeing AI or Be My AI for something like this where I want to have a conversation with the AI, I like to use Access AI and even just Ira, honestly. Would I rather call a volunteer on Be My Eyes? No, I'd rather call an IRA agent. I know some people prefer Be My Eyes, but just for me, I don't use it that often. But if I do, like trying to find the dog poop or just random things that I drop and can't find under the bush or in the trees and I don't know, I, I call IRA because it's usually faster. Be My Eyes takes a while to connect to a volunteer and once you do connect with a volunteer you never know what kind of volunteer you get and if you have to explain or are they able to help and are they talking to their children in the background or things going on. I'd rather talk to an IRA agent. It's just so much easier. What do I think about the AI and training AI? Most things I feel like I don't really care. I don't really care if it helps me find dog poop. <laughs> yes, in real life, I really do need help with that a lot of the time. <laughs> I don't care if I'm reading the back of a box. Don't care if that's used for AI and if it's somehow helpful to train models so that it has more of the blind and low vision experience, then that's fine since you can opt out of a certain experience. And I also really like that this is an opt-in program instead of having to opt out. Now, at the end of the day, Ira is still Ira. It still has its pros and cons, and but I think that for this, it's pretty cool. And for me, I'm gonna use it. Go ahead and give it a try and let me know what you think. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up below. Don't forget to subscribe and consider becoming a YouTube or Patreon member, or even just sharing this video. It really helps support the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.